onion until it's golden. And then after that one, we will put the tomato. So these are our ingredients for moton kima. Moton, minced moton, potato, and tomato. Wow! So now our tomato, uh, onion is like this one, golden brown. We will put the tomato. The sound sounds nice, right? <laughs> so just keep mixing the tomatoes until it was a uh, soft. So we need coriander powder also, turmeric powder, and cumin seeds, and of course chili powder. So next guys, the, our tomatoes is already soft, so we will put the potatoes. Wow, it rhymes really, really rhymes. <laughs> Again, we're making moton kima. So it's actually the first time that I'll be seeing this recipe. So let's see. So we will add the turmeric powder, around one teaspoon and chili powder like that much but it depends on your preference since we like more spicy we will put one piece a uh, tablespoon it's around one tablespoon after that one we will put the coriander yeah little bit only like a pinch so now cumin powder one teaspoon also Mix it well. Wow. Smells nice, guys. So, it would look like this one, guys, once you mix it well. Ooh. Now I can smell the flavors. And last but not the least, the mutton. Minced mutton. So, after putting the mutton, of course, we need to stir it well again. And then, we will just put a little bit of salt for flavor, of course. Yeah. So, after that, guys, we will just keep on stirring and let it steamer. Until it will be, the mutton will be soft along with the other ingredients. So once it will become like this one, you need to add one glass of water. One and a half glass of water. One. And half. So actually guys, Except for the coriander powder, turmeric, and the uh, uh, and the cumin powder, it looks like giniling. Okay, in Tagalog terms, mayroon tayong same uh, in, uh, look na ganito sa Pilipinas, which is giniling. Okay, and then you just need to put the lid and then let it simmer until the meat is tender. So, from time to time, you just need to stir it so that the food will not get burned in the bottom. Okay? Wow! So, we need to check, guys, if our meat and potato is already been cooked. Let's see if it's soft or not yet. So, it's a wait. <laughs> So, it's a little bit soft already, but still a little bit more because I think we need more softness on it. So, let's just give it a taste if it's okay now, the salt is perfect or something. Hmm! 
I think it needs a little bit more salt. So we will just add a little bit more salt on it. But guys, it depends on your preferences, okay? Yeah, like that one only. So after this one, just let it simmer for a little bit more and we're done! So guys, we're done with our mutton kima. Yay! Later, I will show you how it looks like and I'll give you my review regarding the taste. Okay? So guys, this is our finished product of mutton kima. Yay! Looks nice. So you can eat this one with the rice or with some bread if you wanted to so that we can give it a taste. Hmm. So this is the easy way to cook some mutton kima in your home, especially now in quarantine time. Okay, thank you!